So my target for standard chartered shares to enter has hit 493 exactly on the dot. It's already breaking out from that point. Thankfully, the order filled, which was nice. We're up a little bit, but in terms of fees, we're still down, so that doesn't matter. This is supposed to be a trade where I reckon we'll hold it for between a week and a month, and we can get our target of around 519.6 that point. And there's a higher target around 598 as well. If that can be seen, I'm not sure if we're going to go that far, but I'm comfortable getting in here. I've been waiting for this break. If we zoom in closer, there we go. You can see perfect formation coming back into play. Everything is looking positive here. In terms of risk, yes, I've put 463. 463 is quite low. In fact, that's probably like if they hit a bad earnings, but there's 98 days according to TradingView till the next earnings report, so there's no problem there. And re in reality, probably the worst case it can do is around 475, let's say now, 473. So we're risking 20 points to make 26, but the probability of this move is much higher. That's why I'm comfortable holding. We'll update and see how this turns out. But just like Centrica, we're still holding Centrica. It's up and down like a yo-yo, but uh, we're waiting for the big move on both of these. Speaking of yo-yos, it seems that we had the move up we wanted in Standard Chartered. We got in at 493 on the dot and we had results that sent its shares way higher which was quite nice we could have had as high as 533 we were trying to ride this up all the way to around what 518 or below and then we'll cut otherwise it continues up unfortunately it didn't things are looking bad in terms of momentum at least on the hourly side of things and it's probably going around what 510 next stop maybe revisit back lower we're not sure Financials today didn't do too well. If we look at Barclays, could we pull them up just for a second? This is completely different, but Barclays hit their results. Great results, but the shares didn't react so well. On a daily scale, they're down 7%, and that just doesn't look great in terms of the chart either. So not positive there. But in terms of the trade, we made money. We closed. We weren't able to catch it on live as I closed it on my phone. wasn't at the desk, but... We opened 493, closed at 517.6. The order was actually 518. A little bit of slippage there, but no biggie. Take away 20 pounds of fees and just say a pound for short interest. Well, long interest, rather. We won't include that in this measurement, but take away 20, 10 pounds each way for the fees. 176 pounds 80 made on that trade. So we're going to go back. We're going to pull up standard chartered and look at how the daily looks. It still looks quite positive, but generally would expect a fall towards this 500 510 area that seems to be where the main focus is so we sold out we did have much higher targets there's a chance that we can re-enter if this move down does occur but for now we got our trade we got a quick bit of money for less than 48 hours and literally i set my order closed it that's it set the order for the stop after it broke out easy money let's uh keep getting more of this stuff and if you haven't checked out quantumresearch.co.uk already check it out there's a lot of investing content there but this is it for today's trading video